good morning. And this is a very, very special day. Jill and her assistant, Emily, arrived last night. Jill is our planning advisor, who was the person who originally came up with the idea of stable stays when she visited us many years ago. And she's here today. And we're meeting with Richard McGonagall to talk about the dream, the vision of what we want to create in this whole area around here for the horses and our visitors to make it just a much better place for the horses to live so that our visitors can come and just enjoy them, the horses can enjoy it, a nice big indoor space for them when the weather gets extreme. So yes, it's very exciting. We know it's going to be a massive project that's going to take an awful lot of work to try to raise the funds for. But, you know, as Tara said, dreams do come true and she's the one who's helping support this vision. And there's the lovely Nero. Hello, handsome boy. Good morning. How are you doing? He's been out here with Iceman overnight. Hello. Hello, you, know, you want morning cheese? Shall I go and get you your breakfast? Hmm? He's a very good boy. So hopefully, one day, he'll have that beautiful barn to live in, as well as living outside in the fields. Yush, would you like that? So we're going to get it all designed, all ready to go in, in for planning, and then we'll share those pictures with you so that you can see what the dream is all about. Hello Twixie. Look, we've got Dee. He's been a bit elusive recently, haven't you? Oh, you're going again. I was just walking across thinking, why can I only see, see four of them? And somebody's snoozing in bed over there. They like to sleep at this time in the morning. And then we've got a few more down the back there. Oh no, I think that's, is that Hida? Not quite sure who that is in bed. We've got Nikki News and Dale here. Ordinarily, I'd have said that it was Renska, but Renska's up at the barn. I think it might be Yodel. Hit her right at the back on the right. I can always tell because he doesn't walk properly with that, that one hind leg. They all seem nice and peaceful this morning. And then that'll be Micah, Mabel, and Cher will be somewhere. Perhaps over the other side of the hill. I think I might have it wrong. Oh no, that is Yodel. Hello, Yo Yo. Hello, Yo-Yo. Who are we missing? We're missing Zhao. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, gorgeous. Are you having a nice sleep? Yeah? Where's your sister? Hit her up the back. Hmm. Where's Zhao? Don't get worried, Tracy. She'll be around somewhere. Just to show how shocking my eyesight is, because that's Zhao and Micah. How, how could I mistake Zhao for Pepper? So it's Pepper who's missing, but that's not unusual because she's very often off on her own. So she's probably up over here somewhere with, with Floppy Doo. Yeah, because it's not usual for Jell to be away from everybody, but Mabel very often wanders off on her own. Let's see where she is. Ah, uh, you know what? She might be over in the other field. 
talking to the little Exmoor ponies because if she's in season, she's always seeking the boys out. So I think she's probably around there. <laughs> Have you just spotted me, Hida? <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. Little floppy do. Plops, where's Mabel? Is she off being disloyal or disloyal to you? Hey, where is she? Are you going to help me go find her? <laughs> they do like to keep me active. Yodel's still in bed. Go up to the other field and see if I can find Pepper. Okay, let's see if she's through here. Oh, there she is. Hey, Mabes. She's so funny, this little mare, because she actually really doesn't like being on her own. If she comes up to the yard, she doesn't like being in a stable on her own. Yet often she'll wander away from the others. So she can't even see them because there's this big hedge in the way. But she's quite happy through here. And Mike is waiting patiently for me to take her up to the top. Ah, oh, well, that's everybody accounted for. They're all fine. What a beautiful day. Let's hope it stays like this for our meeting later this morning. As I'm walking around this morning, it's funny how how the mind works because I know that Jill and Richard both work on multi-million pound projects they do a lot within the racing industry all sorts of places and I've got that kind of feeling of of imposter syndrome and I'm thinking well you know why are they want gonna want to do work for us you know our little farm with my crazy ideas my crazy dreams that's so completely against and different to what happens in a lot of areas of the equestrian world that obviously have, you know, they're very commercial, they have a lot of funding. And I start to think, am I being silly here? But you know, this is where Hull's been brilliant over, over the years because, you know, I've dreamt big for a long time, but deep down, I've never really thought that it could actually come to anything. And, you know, for the first time in my life, I'm thinking, no, there's people out there that believe in what we do, believe in our mission and want to help make this happen. And I've got to stop doubting that. I've, I've got to believe and I do believe it'll happen. But, it, you know, it's, we all have doubt, doubts in our mind about all th sorts of things. You know, I don't doubt what we do and the way we look after horses and the way we treat them and our whole ethos. But sometimes because we live in our own little world here and don't really know what goes on in the outside world. Well, I used to. Sorry, I'm out of breath because I'm coming up the hill. I sort of think, you know, when people are coming from the outside that work within those big industrial, big commercial, industries they're gonna think we're completely crazy i just thought i'd share those thoughts with you anyway i've got little dale here and micah excuse micah not being in her green and they're gonna come and hang out at the barn with us as well for the day and then all being well if there's a little bit of time left over this afternoon i'll do a bit of groundwork with them Ray's just put micah and dale in here and over there is jill and Emily having a chat to Tamara, just having a look round because it's many years since she was last here. So they've just been in the friendship barn, which I think she rather liked. Oh my God. <sighs> so from your idea of when you wow. first came here and walked in and said, <laughs> You could sleep with your horse in here. <laughs> I remember because Jill was standing there. You were standing.
standing there and I was standing there. <laughs> so yeah. everyone on the camera, oh. Jill. Oh my god, you're the, the, Of course <laughs> I am. <laughs> so that is amazing. you have Look Jill to thank that. for stable stays. I think you've done all the hard work, guys, <laughs> actually. That's amazing. And it's so we've just finished our meeting with Emily, Jill and Richard. We've got lots of footage which I'll share some of it with you very soon once I've edited it down and cut out all the bits that they don't want me to share. <laughs> yeah. So you're heading back now, back down the motorway. Yeah. We arranged the rain just so you could see See what it's really it like here most days. It feel so bad to leave now. It was so glorious this morning when I, kept, when I woke up. But uh, yeah, luckily it's rainy. I'm quite happy to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, seriously, once again, thank you so much for, for coming up. Thank you. Um, no, you've done so much work already, guys. You've been really well. It's been fascinating to watch over the last few years. So. Um, it's exciting to work. You're going to get the pictures together when they get back. Yeah. yeah. So, um, in about four weeks time no you can't <laughs> yeah caught on camera yeah exciting times isn't it yeah it really is the rain's coming now got my hood up because i've lost my cap I don't think I've lost it, I think I've left it in the house. We've got up here Frey and Kaz who've been looking after everything while I've been in deep talks with everybody. And look, another exciting arrival. We've got all the fly sheets, all the bug rugs have arrived today. So we'll get those all out, labelled up with all the sponsors' names and get them off to the embroiderers. Apologies for the rather abrupt end to the video, but uh, once I got back up to the yard, it was absolutely pouring with rain and I had so many messages that I needed to respond to and emails and all sorts of different things on my little computer screen. So I spent the rest of the afternoon in the office and I have to say my brain is properly frazzled, but frazzled in a good way. Uh, but huge thanks to Frey and Kaz for looking after everything on the yard and all the boys and girls. I believe Frey's probably put together a video and I'm now going to go in, get myself some dinner and then I'm going to thoroughly enjoy watching Holly's bear vlog, which I believe she posted this morning and I've not seen yet. <laughs> <laughs>